Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop. Not a true project video today, but I had some good learning this week and I thought I'd pass that along in case that would help you all out with a, a project you may have now or in the future at some point. If you are already subscribed to the channel, you know typically we got videos about machining, welding, knife making, everything else going on here in the Blades to Be Shop. If you are new to the channel and you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that is essentially what you'd be subscribing to, is videos about machining, welding, knife making, things of that nature. Today's video again just kind of a quick tutorial a quick how-to since something I learned this week so the video that I'm gonna put out on Saturday you're actually gonna see that uh, I'm working on these knife handle slabs in titanium for my triple BS knife lock but in tapping the holes in these handles in that video I ended up breaking not one not two uh, but actually three taps instant tap snappage four total I broke one of them in uh, in one of my test pieces as well so I had three broken taps in these handle slabs I already have several hours worth of work in them didn't want to totally waste them so I did a little bit of looking online and found out the easiest way to remove broken taps out of titanium and it turns out that that is using ferric chloride solution so I happen to have some of this on hand for etching blades if you want to take a steel blade and darken it up turn it black and then maybe stone wash it a little bit I've done that before with some knife blades so I had some ferric chloride on hand and I mixed it about an 80% ferric chloride 20% water just to get enough in there to cover up my titanium and uh, that worked well enough to actually completely dissolve and eat away the taps that were in there so I found a little bit of information about it online didn't find any videos on it so if you want to see that process learn a little bit more about that then uh, that's what this video is about I can tell you that it did work I end up getting the broken taps out of these pieces so Stay tuned, you can see exactly what that looked like. And again, if you ever break a tap in a piece of titanium, if you're uh, stuck thinking you might have to scrap a part, hopefully this will save you some time in the future. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Let's check it out and uh, we'll talk through a little bit of my process and how long it took to actually get this to work. Let's take a look. First thing is make sure you're being safe. This is very corrosive. Make sure you've got eye protection and skin protection and just be very careful it doesn't get on anything else in your shop. Obviously we're about to dissolve a tap. This is very corrosive to anything metal, any of your tooling, uh, pretty much anything else you have around your shop. So just make sure you're safe with it. But here's the ferric chloride. I've got it mixed up here with about 80% ferric chloride, about 20% water is what I have in that solution. And I just set my pieces in there and let it get to work. So I've had these soaking in some ferric chloride for about the last uh, 11 hours. I put them in here about 7 o'clock this morning. So we're going to take these out of here, see if it has dissolved my taps. So we're going to pull these out of here. I've got a bucket of water. We'll make sure we rinse them and we'll see what happens. It looks really cool. It looks like it's dyeing them a golden brown color, but supposedly it's not doing anything. So we'll see if that uh, looks like it is just going to rinse off and and leave them totally clean. Obviously, if that was steel of any kind, they would be totally black by now. And uh, with steel, I mean, you only put them in there for, you know, 10 to 20 minutes type of thing to get a totally black color. So here we got pretty much nothing. So I'm gonna wipe most of this off and then I will rinse the last little bit as well, dilute it in that water. And I'm gonna save the rest of that mixture here, this ferric chloride, in case I have to do this again. All right, so here's my pieces. We'll wash everything off. So there's where one of those broken pieces is right in that hole. And you can see how much black is coming out of there from the steel. And, oh, look at that. Am I pushing it out or? I'm just breaking my toothpick here. There's just a little speck of it left in there. Toothpick isn't quite enough, but... All this banging, pushing, and trying different things is part of my learning process. My recommendation after trying it is just put it back in the ferric chloride and let it dissolve some more. But until I figure that out, I keep trying. All right, it's just a little more than I can bang out there. Let's give it just a tap here, see what happens. It's 
still has a little strength to it for sure. Here's about where I realize it is not coming out this time around. The backlight there, tried to get a couple shots and just a couple of freeze frames here of what I thought was the best picks where you can just see that little sliver of tap left in that bottom hole there. Again, another little freeze frame shot to try to get a look at that. And that's what we're left dealing with. There's just a little speck of tap left in there. It's almost completely eaten away, but there is enough left in there that I still can't quite bang it out of the hole. Got one last thing I might try on that one, but let's see how this other piece is looking here. We got a lot of black coming out of that hole. This one I drilled part way into it. Made a heck of a mess of it. So from all my banging and trying to drill, I probably made a bigger mess if I'd have just gone right for the ferric chloride right from the start. I think I'd have probably just been in good shape. But this one I broke and pulverized the tap enough that I wasn't getting much surface area for the ferric chloride to react to. So definitely did a better job on that other one. But I'm going to let this soak again overnight until we get the rest of that out of there. Bottom line is... The titanium is coming out fine, it's doing everything it's supposed to, and it is just eating away that steel that's left in there. So that's good news. We'll come back again in another 12 hours or so, and we'll give it another try. But I think we are working towards a happy ending and saving these handle slabs. So the other piece I learned is to use a larger tap drill. So instead of the number 50, which is 70 thou, people push it all the way up to a 47 in titanium, which is 0.0785 thousandths of an inch. Uh, that's actually right there with 564 as well, which is 0.0781. So I ordered a couple of 564 carbide drills. So we'll go through and we'll make these all a little bit bigger and that should also help our tapping. So again, for consistency in titanium, you still get a plenty strong enough thread and you can just push that a little bit larger in size. All right, well back in the acid they go. We'll let them sit again for another 12 hours and get rid of the rest of that piece out of there. Now that we have confirmed and we know that the acid isn't doing anything else to this titanium. Good way to get rid of broken taps out of titanium, ferric chloride. Been another 12 hours. Let's see if we are broken tap free here. Once again, just trying to be really careful as I pull these out of here. I wipe off most of that ferric chloride to try to minimize how much I'm even putting in the water to dilute it there. And then make sure I throw those rags away, even rinsing my gloves. Just really making sure I get all that ferric chloride where I want it and hopefully not getting it anywhere that I don't want it. All right, let's start with this one. It looked like it had barely anything left in it yesterday, and yes, it is completely clean through. Just amazing, just like that, salvage apart. Came out clean, and we are completely tap free in that hole. We are all the way through there. No problem at all, not a piece left. And let's see how we're doing on this one. Just gonna take a tap drill here, see if that'll help me dig some of that out a little bit. Work a little better than a toothpick. No real additional impact with the drill other than it scrapes away that black oxide layer, exposes more surface area of the bare tap, which I would recommend. I think that seems to be the best bet. Get rid of the black layer and get it back in the ferric chloride and let it do its work. All right, well, this one's gonna have to go back in a little more. Hopefully that shows up there that we definitely have light coming back through all three of those holes. So we've got enough air cleaned up in there and I blew around and I can just see the little piece of tap left stuck in the middle. So now we should definitely get some surface area that ferric chloride should be able to get all around there enough. It's kind of 
you know what we had left in the other little hole last time around so there's just a little piece left in there and just a little more than we're able to knock out right now so back in the ferric chloride it goes and we should be completely tap free by this evening well let's see if third time is a charm here see if we get the last of that tap out of there We're through. Well, there we go. Ferret chloride took a little bit of time. I think if I'd come out and uh, I think once that at, once the ferret chloride works a little bit and it builds up the black oxidized layer on there, I think it sort of stops working. So if I probably you know I ended up having to leave it for. Uh, about 10 12 hours each time and for that part of the tap that I had broken off in there it was almost 36 hours total in there I think it would have been considerably less if I had come out and agitated it or maybe worked on it a little bit in between instead of trying to completely dissolve it and clearly next time don't try to drill and don't smash up and fill the hole with more pieces all you're doing is reducing surface area whereas if I had just done it right off the bat and had that ferric chloride go all the way down both sides of the tap then uh, came out of the other piece after about 10 yeah, maybe about 20 hours or so in the ferric chloride so not a bad process i was able to save these two parts save all the time i had invested in them i was able to get them fully tapped and they are now going to be functioning and be able to put these together and put them into operation on a knife pretty darn happy with uh, finding this solution and being able to salvage these well, YouTube, that's a wrap on another video here in the Blades to Be Shop. I appreciate you watching. I hope that learning how to use some ferric chloride to uh, dissolve a broken tap out of titanium will save you some time and energy and maybe even save a part for you at some point in the future. I was uh, pretty interesting, fascinating to learn that ferric chloride did absolutely nothing to the titanium. So great solution to a problem that uh, I know I had and I'm sure many others are going to have at some point in the future. So as always, appreciate you watching these videos. If you subscribe to the channel, I sure appreciate the subscription. If you're new to the channel and uh, just came across this video for the first time, hey, I'd sure love it if you hit that subscribe button. If you have comments, feedback on this video, any other ones on the channel, go ahead and leave a comment in there. I always appreciate any feedback or insight on what you'd like in the future. Until next time, I hope you're out in your own shop working on some projects of your own. I'll be here in the Blades to Be shop working on probably that next knife video as we continue the build on this Triple BS folder. So until I get that next video out, you take care.